This beach in Takaradi best displays old Ghana meeting new Ghana. Behind me, I have old fishing vessels, whilst behind me again, I have the new oil industry, perhaps the new hope for Ghana. Today, for ETV, I explore how Takaradi is dealing with the new oil industry. The Jubilee oil field lies off the coast of Takaradi. Significant oil deposits were found in 2007, and production started in December of last year. Today, output is currently close to 120,000 barrels a day. The city has always been heavily reliant on its traditional mineral and food industries. Until recently, fishing has been the focus of much of the community. However, today, oil is the king, and the two industries seem to be on a collision course. Fishermen complain about reduced catches and a hindrance to their activities. One resident I spoke to told me about a deterioration of fishermen's health when they fish close to gas fields. He also said that minor oil spills were killing fish. Nowadays, if you, man, if you go to a shore, then you begin to get eye problem. Then they, they told us that it was because of the gas. So we told them that they have to protect the uh, environment. When the oil floats for the sea, where it's killing the fish, they have to give us some small compensation. In 2009, it was alleged that Cosmos spilled 706 barrels of toxic substances whilst undertaking exploration activities. Fortunately, scenes similar to that of the BP oil spill off the coast of the United States have yet not materialised, but the community remained concerned. Of perhaps more immediate concern is the whereabouts of fish. The fishermen say they are now catching less because the fish now congregate further out to sea under the bright lights used on the oil rigs and in exploration activities. The drilling area is prohibited for fishing vessels. We have noticed that uh, because of the more light in the oil rig, it attracts most of the fish. Nobody should, I mean, fish around the rig. If you go there, I mean, you'll be in trouble. They will arrest you. The Navy admit that the exclusion zone is a hindrance to fishermen but they defend it on safety grounds. Fishermen are not allowed to fish in that area because their nets could drift to disrupt underwater oil operations, which uh, make their operations very dangerous. There are some areas which are very volatile, and the fishermen, they, they cook on their canoes. They, they have... Uh, coal pots and other sources of heat, which is a danger to themselves as well as the oil platforms. What is for sure, with further explorations still continuing out to sea, oil is set to stay. It remains to be seen if oil and fishing can live peacefully side by side in the western region. From Takaradi, this is Henry Wilkinson reporting for ETV Ghana.